I am really struggling today. Uh, I am struggling because I've had one day off, but it's just not enough. And the last few days off, I just don't want the days off to end, which I know is normal, but at the same time, I'm just starting to feel like I need more than one day off. I need a bit of an extended break. Just cash, you know, <laughs> not something you find every day. Just a random turnip on the road. I feel like I want to carry this to the finish line now. Alison now has the turnip. <laughs> 0.4 miles out from the start line. <laughs> Into the last two miles of today's 23 mile run. Yeah, and the guys are up ahead. <laughs> I thought today was going to be tough and it's, it's been amazing to have everyone with me, distracting me <laughs> and I'm managing to not cry, <laughs> which is good. But I've still got the turnip with me, which is just chewing me up because of the randomness of it. I'm carrying the turnip. And I'm going to get the blooming turnip to Perth. If it kills me. <laughs> the turnip has made it to Perth. It's a little bit precarious. Yeah, Our guiding light. I think we'll go and gift the turnip to Albert, this man here. I've no idea what Albert did, but he definitely deserves a turnip. So here is a day in the life of Barefoot Britain Logistics. I was collected from a house in Perth by Kirsty's grandma and her brother Alistair. They then drove me to Dunblane, where we stashed Barry the bag in the shed of Natalie's house. Now Natalie is Alistair's girlfriend. We then drove back to Octorada, where I finished my run yesterday. I then ran from there and I was hoping to make it to Stirling, but in fact, I've made it to Bridge of Allen, where my new host Claire, who lives in Balfour, is gonna come over and collect me at the end of the day. We're then gonna drive back to Dunblane, take Barry out of the shed, and drive back to her house in Balfour, ready to come back to Stirling in the morning. Get it? Got it? Good. Good morning today. Oh my gosh, I'm running to Glasgow and then I get two days off. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. It's still 11 miles, but it's raining. It's not hot and I cannot wait just to get these 11 miles done so I can have some days off. I'm so excited. I think I've got quite a few people signed up to run with me as well, so that would be nice. Yeah, I'm just, just excited. I'm just excited this morning because I get a rest after this. Come on. <laughs> Woo! Look at all these happy, shiny people. She's barefoot. Oh, is she the barefoot yeah. bear? Yeah. <laughs> we've got sick of the amount of rubbish we're seeing on the way, so we've started a pickup. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> it's the trying to run and pick up. We are now on the canal, which is hopefully nine miles of dreaminess all the way into Glasgow city centre. That's what we hope anyway. What do you reckon, Teddy? for like two months and it's just strange coming in and there's fast cars and people everywhere and noisy bits oh and coffee shops oh lovely that looks nice <laughs> Fantastic. What well, they've been amazing, honestly, absolutely perfect. Loved it. Loved it. 